Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on asynchronous communication. Now let's start with the definition of asynchronous communication. More than one person communicating without being available at the same point of time is called asynchronous communication. It is being able to go ahead with the project, make changes or communicate without other stakeholders being present when you send your message. For instance, a journalist writes an article using Google Docs that the editor of the newspaper leaves comments and feedbacks for, indicating the required changes. Moving further to the advantages of asynchronous communication. First, more control and productive. There are no predetermined work hours in asynchronous environments. The structure of your work days is all in the hands of the employees themselves, depending on their cycles, their responsibilities and lifestyles. Next, good quality communication. Communications are more intelligible and detailed with fewer chances of indecisiveness. More thought is put into reactions toward a particular issue since they have more time to do so. People in this case answer thoughtfully at their own time instead of giving automatic responses. Next, time zone equality. Time zones don't prove to be problems while acquiring information as smooth communication across time zones is ensured. Hence, managing teams is not time zone restrictive. And finally, transparency and automation. Crucial information in main discussions are automatically recorded since the majority of these communications happen in writing especially in cases where tools more public than email are used for instance google doc those conversations can be referenced in a much easier manner later moving on to the disadvantages of asynchronous communication well there are not many first thorough responses become mandatory when the communication is unhurried next meaning over communication is preferred over under communication Conversations are not concurrent, which can lead to delays in connection with the company. And finally, this makes employees feel like they are a minuscule part of a big organization. Moving on, asynchronous communication examples: email, drive, messaging apps, Google Docs, online forums, collaborative documents, pre-recorded video lectures, video tools, and platforms such as Vimeo, Cloud App, and Loom. And finally let's look at the differentiation between synchronous communication and asynchronous communication. Let's start with synchronous communication. Synchronous means occurring at the same time whereas asynchronous refers to something not occurring simultaneously. In case of synchronous it means that the occurrence happens among two or more people in the moment that is in sync that is simultaneously. But on the other hand when two or more people give their responses to communications out of sync that is individually spread out over more time. Next, synchronous communication needs prompt responses and is communication that occurs concurrently whereas asynchronous communications are not concurrent communications and the participant responds at their own time. Finally, Google Meetup calls, in-person conversations and Skype are example of synchronous communication which take place live. On the other hand, Google Talks, Twist, feedback/comments, etc are used for asynchronous communication. So that's it folks, this brings an end to the topic on asynchronous communication. These are some of the sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.